welcome back. Today we're going to be cooking Mighty Moroccan Chickpea and Butternut Squash Curry. This recipe has a lovely mix of creaminess and mild spice. Ollie's going to be taking us through cooking a portion for us today. Have fun! Uh, this is the Mighty Moroccan Chickpea and Butternut Squash Curry. Um, where it's got like onion and spices and garlic and peppers and stuff like that in it. It's going to be good. And then we're pretty much ready to get going. That all that'll all go in together and the onions will go on before. With some garlic, which is difficult to open. When you're slicing it, you wanna just not slice it too thin, otherwise it can it can burn the garlic, which gives you a bit of an odd flavour sometimes. So we're ready to move over to the pan, over to the oven, uh, to get the onions going. So we need oil, um, not too much to start with. If you put the spices in later it might need a bit more, otherwise the spices start to like, burn. On the, well, on the butternut squash and sweet potato. So. You just want the pan on like a really low heat for the, uh, oh, I've got a bit of seed in there. Don't want that. I'm just going to break the onions up a bit. You'd probably chop them a bit more than this. But... I'm just going to let those sit there for about five minutes so the onions soften up and the garlic, you'll start to smell the garlic. And it'll be pretty nice. Right, so the onion's been on for about five minutes. They'll, you kind of go a bit soft like that. You don't, yeah, you want to make sure they're soft, basically. Um, in the actual thing, you just chuck all of that in, but because we're doing such a small amount, I'm just going to kind of do it by eye. So, about a third of it. Well, you could put loads in, and then it'd just be really flavorful. It'd be great. And then, yeah, once that's in, you just want to leave those spices in there so that they kind of cook a bit with the onions. Just for about two minutes, that's all you need. Right, so that's the spice has been in there for about two minutes. We're going to add as much of this as we physically can, which won't be much. And then you just want to stir that up as much as you can to get all the spices covered in, covered in all the sweet potato and butternut and the peppers and stuff. A bit more oil just to ease it. Uh, yeah, you want, what is it, 400 millilitres for the full recipe, but about half a cup for what we're going to be doing here. Then we'll just see how many chickpeas I can actually get in. Stir it all in again. Turn it up. You want to get you want to get all the liquid in there boiling, and then you turn it back down again. Right, so that's bubbling away. Turn it back down to simmer again. Take that out. Put a lid on, and then you're just going to leave it for like half an hour, basically, and come back. Give it a bit of a stir every now and then because there'll be bits of butternut squash 
sticking out of the top that won't boil properly. But yeah, other than that, that's pretty much done. Right, so it's been about a half hour. You want to take the lid off after that and just let it go for about 10 minutes just until the, all this liquid here, you kind of want to boil down so it gets into a nice kind of thick sauce, which is what you want from curry. Um, yeah, I'm just going to leave that there. Right, so we're going to take it off the heat. It's been about 10 minutes and enough of the water is reduced down. So, there we go. Let that sit there. Go chop some coriander up over here. You can't just use coriander like as much or as little as you like. It just depends on your taste. Bunch it all up. And I'm just gonna put oh, about that much, that'll be good. A little bit more, I like coriander, so. A little bit on top to make it look pretty. That is uh, mighty Moroccan chickpea and butternut squash curry. Fantastic. Let's tuck in.